horror games for wimps. What up, wimps? Welcome back to Horror Games for Wimps, the show where I get scared so you get spared. My name is Zombie, and we're playing until dawn. There are only six hours until dawn. Wait, what am I looking at? That's really not good. Mike um, didn't look quite that beat up at the end of the last chapter, so I feel like they've polished him up for this chapter. I say polished him up, what's the opposite of polished him up? Rubbed him down. No, that's worse. Unless he got scuffed up getting from the cave exit to the sanatorium. Like, he really wasn't that bad when he was leaving the mines before. That is a noticeable difference. Alright. Let's get a closer look. If only you still had your rifle with the scope on it. Ah. Idiot. Throwing it away because it's jammed. Not like that's a problem that can be fixed. Woo. The adrenaline must be like coursing through uh, Mike right now. I've, I think I called him mad a couple of times. Must be coursing through Mike right now because there's no other reason that he wouldn't just be freezing his tits off. White for guidance. Oh, fortune, even. What's guidance? Brown? I think guidance is brown. Oh, wait. Oh, is lost brown and guidance is yellow. Either way, we found a fortune totem. And in it, Matt looks alive and healthy, which is my favourite kind of way for Matt to be. Come on. Oh, woo! The furries are here. In the sanatorium where they belong. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry, furries. I know you're a huge part of my audience. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? It's probably not true. Actually, probably is true. I come from... A lot of my subscribers come from a My Little Pony music video, so I imagine they've actually got quite a large overlap of people who like f ponies and people who are fairies. I mean, the lamplight is probably going to give your position away, and that's just not even a little subtle. Mike, come on, man. Because here's the thing, with some of the other characters in this game, you make like the smallest, least obvious mistake like oh you stepped on a twig and now your favorite character dies whereas with Mike he does the dumbest shit the most just nonsensical dumb shit in the whole game it's like oh, yeah you get one chance to kill him right at the end oh someone really wanted to take a peek inside I'm sorry if you consider that a spoiler I mean the spoiler is that all these characters can die. Just some of them get more opportunity to do than the others. Mike's one of the lucky bastards who... Really hard to kill. I'm 
just getting clue after clue. What up, guys? Welcome to my speed run of Until Dawn. It's only going to take me five hours. Yeah, I don't remember, uh, like, a lot of the actual gameplay of this game, but for some reason, how you do the sanatorium has always stuck with me. I think it's because I was watching Let's Plays and be like, I know I'm going to play this game someday. How can I minimize the amount of time I will spend in the sanatorium? I know, memorize it entirely. Oh, I can't be bothered to read that. You can just pause the video and read it. Okay, that's enough time to pause it. I'll rewind it. There you go. Like I said, I know the story of this game. Which, for those of you who are, by the way, for those of you who are familiar with this uh, portion of the game, that means that there is a choice coming up that, uh, well, actually two choices coming up in this portion of the game where I could do something catastrophically stupid and I'm not going to. Hello, bird. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm oh, pull down. Okay, that makes sense. Oh shit! Gross. I'm a chatey. <laughs> what was that that he stabbed? Yeah, you know, I just have a happen to have a machete loop on my pants. Cause that's not a belt loop. That is just a straight up machete loop. Never say Michael Monroe goes anywhere underprepared. Oh, this is. How many days will they keep us here? I agree, Mike. Ah, a wolf. Hey, I wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise. I imagine it looked better before it was closed down, Michael. I mean, I imagine, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> a rat. Hey. Hey, there's a there's a thing. I wanna look at the thing. Okay, I can't look at the thing. So yeah, um you guys see you guys see this thing right here? Just in case you want to play through this game yourself and don't want to make a terrible mistake. Nope, wrong. Uh... Nope, wrong. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's where the bear trap is. It's inside that box. So we're not going to lose Mike's fingers. We're not gonna. We're not gonna put him through that. He's already gone through too much. Well, this place just gets better and better. Crappy. All right. Oh, hello. By inmate, fatal lacerations to throat. Nicholas Bauer, dead. Oh, two of them. 
I mean, realistically, there's not going to be anything jumping out of me. Because, I mean, they're going to be dead, right? Or whatever's left of them. And I don't remember there being a big jump scare at this part of the game. Sarah Smith. Severe lacerations to the abdomen. Intra-abdominal injuries. Something blood loss. Possibly fingernails. Oh, signed by N. Bowen. So it was... She died before he died, and then he also died. By lacerations. Lacerations. They're contagious. Uh, this one's got a body in it. Please be dead. Please remain dead. <laughs> Grim. Please stay dead. Stay dead. Okay, let's check this out. Thank you for staying dead. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going back there. Just get out of here. Of all our fingies intact. Alright. Pick up the pace, Michael. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck me! Okay. Alright, that one got me good. <laughs> Alright, thing is, I knew that was coming and I still fucking. <laughs> that still sucks. <laughs> you properly jumped there. <laughs> Fuck this game, man. <laughs> right. Back in here. Me again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Easy boy. Easy. Easy. I'm a goddamn idiot. Oh, you got a wolf in here too? No, but there's a frying pan. Maybe this will keep the wolves fed. If I take that with me, I'll be invincible. Am I right, fellow gamers? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Frying pans. Am I right? Only real gamers will appreciate my humour. Hey, doggy. Hi, doggy.
Please don't bite my fingers off. I just, I went through a lot to keep them. That's a good boy. That's right. I mean, I didn't, but I could have. Is the point. Hey, guy. Oh. You like that? Aw, he's a good yeah. pup. Not everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm -hmm. He might give a softy. I like this dude. So, what have we here? We have what's going to be your look for the remainder of the game. If only you hadn't thrown away at the gun earlier, Michael. Nice. Okay, put it down. Any more for spending more? Any more clues? Anything gonna jump out of these cages? Nope, alright, let's get a move on. Waste of ammo, and now they know you're here, but this is what I mean, Mike, about you making the dumb choices. That would get anyone else killed. But no, you're Michael. It, the game seemed to want me to gravitate over that way, but I will not, because I know there's nothing in this room. Or at least I think there's nothing in this room. What I remember from playthroughs. So we just want to get out of the- <laughs> get out of this- I just wanted to make- contain the sanatorium to one episode. Oh, I mean, you want to talk about dumb choices that'll get you killed. Fucking, this is the greatest example of how Mike is an indestructible dude until he's not relevant to the plot anymore. Okay. Like, I don't have the choice not to do this, so... Wait, what happens if I sh miss? I can't pull the trigger. All right. <laughs> See, idiot. And he doesn't even like you notice, Michael. Fool, absolute fool. Anyway, we'll pick up with whatever's next in the story. I forget who comes up next, but we'll pick up with them. Uh, I think Mike and Jess, Mike and M, even. Uh, anyway, Martin, Martin. Matt and Emily. Fuck me. Anyway, we'll join Matt and Emily, I think, tomorrow. And until then, wimp out.